Hi, I'm Alex, and today we're going to be installing a water block on top of an AMD 6990 video card. The water block is from Coolants, and here it is. This is the model VID AR699, and here we have a newly taken apart uh, MSI uh, ATI uh, AMD Radeon 6990 video card. So the first thing that we need to do is to put thermal paste on top of the two graphic processors. So let me do that real quick. There's one. Here comes the other. squeeze a little bit more out of this thing to cover the processor nicely. Squeeze everything out. All right. And then what we're going to do is using the same piece of plastic, we're going to spread it around just like so, so it's nice and even all over the graphics processing unit. And for anyone who's wondering, these GPUs are the AMD 6970s, and there simply are two of them on this one 6990 video card. All right, so let me do this one now. And the key is to make sure that the entire surface is got paste on it. And it's as even as you can make it. There we go. Spread it thin, like that, and spread it on this side, spread it like so, there we go. All right, now, the next thing you need to do is to take these thermal pads, and I have a white one here and a gray one here, and cut the areas that are going to be touching the uh, the water block but not necessarily get very hot. So what we need to do is what I did was I took this area here which are the the video memory and this area here and I made these cutouts from here with a screwdriver uh, I mean, I'm sorry with a uh, pair of scissors and they don't have to be exact as long as they're covering the area, that's all you need. So there's one strip here, one strip here, so that's, that's these two. And then one strip here and one strip here, that's these two. And then a couple of components over here that I made the strips for. A couple of large, uh, I think these are capacitors, and I put them here. And we have the controller and a couple of other chips here that, that generate some heat and that will fill up that area over here on the water block. So in order to put these rubber seals on this, you have to remove the film, the protective film. So I'm gonna try to remove it as best as I can here. Let's see how simple it is. side I suppose I could just put it right on and then take it off that's it it's tough to remove this thing Yep, it 
it's definitely removable. So there we go. So we put this on like so. And then remove the blue film. one as well. Got to be very careful. Now the good thing with these little rubber seals is that if you screw one up there's plenty more with which you can make some spare. So it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I'm having some difficulty removing this one. No, yeah, I'll try a different one. are a little bit harder than I thought. There we go. See how the plastic comes right off. But it's very difficult to get that plastic off. So let me put this one right on top of the memory here. There we go. And then take the blue protector off of it as well. to do. Not very easy at all. There we go. So these go on top of these four little chips there on the bottom. Next thing is to put this big one on top of these two. Looks like I got a little thermal paste here on the circuit. Let me see if I can remove it here. That's it. All right. Now, some 
chips here on the top of this row. So that's what this one is for. Go right on top of those, like so. All right, we don't have that many left to go. So this one is on top of this big controller. one is on top of this little chip right there. Apparently that little chip generates a lot of heat. 